Broadcasting Network. My day is good. How's your day? My day's fine. Ha! How's the family out there in CUB and land or YouTube land or wherever you at? All right, what's on the news today? You can get also get in contact with us at www.cubnlive.com. And do not forget to subscribe. Because we need subscribers. Because all of we had a lot of subscribers, and all of a sudden, we just stopped doing shows for a while, and then we started losing all the subscribers. So let's just get the subscribers got back up there again. Just hit the button. Hit the button. Thank you very much. What's on the news today? ISIS does the unimaginable uses. They use the child to carry out a terror attack. Now, who in their rap man gonna use a child to carry out a terror attack? Come on, people. A suicide bombing attack on a wedding, for goodness sake, in Turkey. This weekend turned a happy day into a scene of horrific carnage. Who in their right mind got to think, like, whatever mindset to do something like that at a wedding? Oh, my goodness. What is going on in the world today? Terrorists. Not only targeted a sacred day, but did something else unimaginable. They used a child to carry out their evil plot. It's considered the deadliest terror attack in Turkey this year. More than 50 people dead and 70 were wounded. Dozens more are in critical condition. Turkey's president is blaming ISIS and a suicide bomber as young as 12 for the incident. Earlier, 12 years old, come on, people. Earlier this year, the Voice of America reported an Iraq Kurdish commander saying ISIS has two of, or three training centers in Mosul, Iraq, where children as young as eight years old are being taught to carry out suicide attacks. Oh my lord, these people need to be stopped as soon as possible. We need some authority. We need some leadership in this country to get over there and just stop this nonsense. And after the attack in Turkey, there are reports that Iraq authorities foiled a similar attempt using a boy as, a, as young as 12 who burst into tears when police approached him. According to the UNICEF, in northern Nigeria, the Islamic terror group Boko Haram has increased the number of child bombers used in attacks from 4 to 44. What? 75% were girls. What? Who were kidnapped? Oh my lord. At ISIS run schools, the terror group has been indoctrinating children in the use of extreme violence. Videos have shown small boys beheading victims. Oh my lord. Meanwhile, Turkey is still really whoo, from a deadly attack on its largest airport. A failed coat and recap. Recep Tayyip Erdogan's Erdogan's strongman image has been tarnished by his inability to keep Turkey safe. People expressed anger with the president during funerals of victims chanting Eragud Era Erjadogen Erjadogen killer. Oh my lord, what is going on in the world today? The report cities. The report cites the fifth edition of American Psych Psychiatric of American Psychiatric Association Diagnostics and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders to show that the presence of gender dysphoria, dysphoria in children does not often persist into adulthood. In in natal biological males presents a gender dis, dis, uh, dysphoria has regained from 2.2 to 30 percent. The report explains in, uh-huh, let me see here. 
<laughs> Think I got the wrong issue. All right. <laughs> Obviously, the paper that I had here <laughs> is mixed up with the other paper that I have here. So I will have to edit that out. And that is the Isis does the unimaginable. Uses a child to carry out a terror attack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that our world is coming to a drastic halt when we got adults teaching kids to kill other adults. That is just not right. What is going on in the world today? We just don't know what is going on. Us as Bible believers, we understand that the concept of life is based on what is going to happen from the beginning to the end. And we know that. And as we can see these opportunities coming in our face and we see all these disasters and ugh, all the torment and heading and using kids to do evil things. We kind of got an idea on what's going on and what is going to happen soon. Lord Jesus is coming back soon, ladies and gentlemen. Get right with the Lord Jesus. Get down on your knees and you beg him. You beg him, Lord Jesus, get in me and you get the Holy Spirit inside of you and you just put him in there, you know. I believe that the Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Died on the cross for us, save us from our sins. So you need to believe that and accept it. That is the buzzer that you hear from the washing machine. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Enough kidding around. But we got to understand that we got to fight these people that try to take, take little children and, and do terrible things to them. As Christians, we pray. That's how we fight. We pray. We pray against this kind of bad things that's going on in, uh, in then people's lives. We pray against all that. And watch how tables turn. Amen to that. In Jesus' name. Isis does the unimaginable. Use a child to carry out terror attacks. I just Jesus. Jesus.